Welcome back. We've got Tundra versus Betboom, the lower bracket elimination. And this is going to be a hype one, man. One of those things that the Frost Breath is actually kind of nuts in helping, like, maybe tempo that Alchemist early on. But it is more of a utility and, you know, you don't farm a ton with it. Bottom lane, though, this is going to be first blood. Goes to Toronto, Tokyo. Beautifully done. I don't actually play much Shadow. I'm going to watch. Know. Hopefully we don't move the I think they stack. Yeah, I think they stack. So it should just be refreshing there. Saika is just going to go ham here on the Ramses. He tries to survive the Burrow Strike. Goes back the other way. And that's going to be a great find. Ooh, close. But the stick will keep him in. There's no way, you know, he's got this much CS in the Dragon Knight. So it has to come from the jungle. So I was just curious, like, how much that had translated into. But yeah, about a pretty significant difference. Bottom lane, pure in. Pretty good here. Going to start channeling the Concoction to try and maybe deny himself. But... Miro does manage to finish the job. The Groom Stroke Timber saw lane. This one wins well and all the Timber chains. So hard to get away. Invading the line. I? Yes, I was like, there's way too many creeps there. Farming rune for him so he can pop his ult a little more to try to kill him. Oh, it's in lane. Dude, this is a sick rotation. Yeah, the ink spell to follow it up. This should be a kill on the tops and And it is. White Mon will be next. There's uh, That's the last leap charge. Unfortunately, the corrosive damage isn't there to take this, and now they can put, now that it's six, now he's fully online. <laughs> I cannot believe White Mon was just able to hide there. The shield rune doing some work, but that's a lot of damage from the Viper. Thompson will be able to grab the kill onto GPK. Yes, they, the and they find safe. Should be another kill going his way. All right. A kill on Tamiro would be massive for the side of Tundra. As I think Thompson's on for a split second. Viper Strike is there. Timber Chain on up. The arrow's gonna connect. You can start stacking those poison attacks. Another Timber Chain away. But the Dark Willow. What a wrap around from 9 class. Here he comes. The big bad alchemist is here. The good old self stun onto the camp for a massive amount of burst damage. And there's the poison burst. Yeah, they get it. That's huge. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, a lot of damage saved, dodging the arrow, but Nine Class kind of sacrificing himself so that the Alchemist can finish up those extra. Lane, they're just gonna kill Psycho. They right. get the combo. Nine Class was hiding in the trees for ages, and then the stun, just easy bedlam setup. Mid lane. This is starting to get really scary for Bed Boom. Tops in the mid lane is going to get purged though in a little bit too far with its rotation in from Miro. They do manage to punish that one. Yeah, she was she was power crept uh, unbelievably have a play card. Thompson will find save here. Viper Strike is out. They'll know about a century here as well with that. So they may go for the ward. Alchemist is doing well, right? And the main counter once BKB comes out is the Ursa. So if you're just Viper striking the Ursa, that's your main contribution, and you let Alchemist do the rest of the work. This is the blink reveal. Backside, they find nine class, but that's not the target you want to grab. You really wanted Ramsey's Shadow Realm into the Terrorize. Does at least tank the gank there for his Sand King. The Ursa is going to do well. Um, but Timbersaw doesn't have like the same farming team eyes. We're gonna see the blink come out from Ramses into the Burrow Strike arrow. He gets saved for the moment with the disruption, but there is a Bramble Maze ready to hold you down. So a quick grab and a really big one too is the Timbersaw. He's kind of a big threat here for some of these finds to get another Burrow Strike here on the Toronto Tokyo. And they're not done. The dive on to save. Pure found a haste rune. But they'll just, I mean, they can just stick around, right? Like, they, they don't need to leave this area. Ramses, ooh, that was close. On, on the other side of the map, though, they find the Dragon Knight. GPK is super dead. A few heroes and a few items that actually make this hero feel surprisingly squishy. Well, we'll, we'll put a pin in that as Toronto Tokyo is about to get popped by Tundra. Nice little arrow from White Mon to secure the kill. Otherwise, it's just such a big gold swing. And the, the shards are really good for Ben. Toronto, Tokyo, and not getting out of that one. Very nice setup there from Ramses. 
No, no, they have the uh, the mech though. Okay. If someone has a solar press, I can see that mid lane. Ooh, Miro gets popped. Very nice find there from Tundra. So that timing worked out perfectly. And backdoor would be about to pop back up. The next creep wave is here, so they don't care that that first creep wave dies. Will not be able to chase, but either way, here not done. All right, he's just gonna pop the old go right back onto the high ground. Timbersaw doing a good chunk of damage there, especially with the disseminate. But here comes Ramses, a really nice blink epicenter. The Bloodstone active, keeping him healthy. As they try to just finish off the Shadow Demon, they will get him. Ramses just pops his BKB and walks away. As now the root catches him. The blink in from Nine Class deletes Miro. Yes. Two dead on the high ground without buybacks. No ults from Bed Boom either. Dude, this game might come to an abrupt end as another Pearl Strike comes in. They get the Grimstroke, a buyback from the Timber Saw. He's gonna come in, try to pop these heroes. He managed to get one. Pure is gonna die as well. The Terrorize fears them away as Miro has to be very careful not to go down a second time. He had so many slows, he almost didn't make it to the mountain. Like Dragon Tail, careful. Pure still has his BKB. Dude, and that's a nice pick off. Shadow Demon managed to survive the initial burst as Nine Class jumping on the backside, but silenced up at the moment. Toronto Tokyo making a ton of space as Miro jumps in, catches the Bramble. Ramses needs to be very careful. Pro strikes away, has the BKB, gonna be forced to use it as he will blink the safety. Dude, he's uh, it's one of those things where if any other hero hits him there, he probably dies, but pure damage completely blocked. Light Shadow out of the Tundra. He's gonna find who the blink the dragon tail onto Ramses the four staff out. He's safe, turns around with the BKB. They get the break onto the Dragon Knight. Psycho forced to just BKB TP home the nightfall. Oh now GPK, will he make it out? No. Uh, a nice Yule's there to cancel that. So he's gonna burn there looking for save. Can he make it? No, Ramses with a super long range burrow strike. He said the shard from Viper helping him to clean up these buildings before the Alchemist is even here. I'm contributing two punches from out. This is all. This has got to be like all of their. That, it's got to be the last smoke. That's three in a row. It has to be the last smoke. Trying to change position. They find. Oh, he gets the Shadow Realm, Shadow Realm off. He gets the Shadow Realm and a massive epicenter onto the backside from Ramses. They're just gonna blow up this Grimstroke and GPK cannot stand his ground. Ends up just dying on the backside as Ramses will run down Toronto, Tokyo. And they all get to get away quickly. And this time, we see two maneuvers from Ben. First, trying to come in from that top angle, that try and hold that thought. They're gonna kill Timber uh, while doing Roshan, because they know they're all dead, and they know Timber has to go for the Timber Fall. Push up the lanes. But it's also a very good butterfly game. You're against an Ursa. That evasion goes a long way. Like Pearl Strike out from Ramses, trying to get some damage in Toronto and Tokyo, but Ooh, Saika actually just pops Nine Class on the backside. All right, fly back from the Dark Willow, nullifier out onto the Ursa, so no ability to use. Oh, Ramses popped the Epi here, thinking that they were going to actually start the fight. That is the level 20 talent, too, so a lot of damage you're going to be missing in this engagement as a buyback from the Timbersaw doesn't net them anything. Even if he had the money, he would not be able to finish uh, combining the item. So Amplify Damage is here. Pierce going on top onto the high ground. Quick blink. Dragon Tail, they just burst him down. But that is BKB out of your Ursa. They blink the Burrow Strike, manages to catch the Shadow Demon. I think this time you, yeah, you let Viper yeah. go in for you. And just poison attack these buildings down. There we go. Once again, the blink, the Burrow Strike is out onto the Viper. He is dead. Close. They're just gonna buy back and in comes Ramsey's a huge epicenter just zoning out the backside of the fight as GPK saved by the disruption. But the Burrow Strike comes through, they get saved. Psycho now with a BKB of his own, or actually the jump onto Ramsey's, but he has the BKB. The arrow with the nullifier, they got him! Psycho hits the deck and now GPK has got a lot of damage. He's got a dish out if they want any chance staying in this one. Almost finished off the Dark Willow, but it's not enough. Pure in with the concoction, stunning up the Shadow Demon, but he's getting to work, baby. Just beating through these heroes. The GG comes out, and that is going to be game one. Going to Tundra. 
That Finn was actually doing a pretty good job towards the end there. We've got game two, a very exciting series of Tundra versus Bed Boom. <laughs> I, I never remember him. I'll check. It is Snot Rocket. Wow, look at that. First blood in the top lane, though, goes to Pure. Or, I'm sorry, goes to White Mon, but. Yeah, I agree. A lot of it is there's just so much farming. White Mon is not in a good spot here. He does glimpse Pure back pretty far, and then they do have the rotation in from Nine Class. With the one point here kinetic in the fence. goo, the kinetic fence blocking off save. Is the damage there? They get him in the oh, fountain. Man. Meanwhile, Pure forces Miro to TP out, pops the salve in his tier two here. I think you'd want to bring the bristle back in, but tops in mid lane, no blink. He's got a sonic wave if he wants to live, but no. Ends up just going down. Nice rotation from Toronto and Tokyo there with the hell there. This is so good. Thompson was playing insanely aggressive because he didn't care about his health because he knew he had the region rune. He's like, oh, I'll blink back and heal up. And then there's an enchantress there right away. Oh, glimpse. And they've got him. He cannot get out of here on Miro. This is the seven minute rotation out. Completely different performance from GPK here. Like, he had an abysmal game one. And this time, he's off to a fantastic uh, start. Toronto Tokyo on the bottom side finds an arcane rune. Thompson blinked in for this. Does he get the Dragon Tail in time? He's going to. Rotation in for Ramses. They get the arena. Where's the spear? It doesn't connect. Oh, no. Kinetic Fence just to walk away. We've seen many times. I think specifically Tundra did this. They punished this hero pick so heavily. Like, any time that he was trying to farm inside the map, they just like, rotate multiple heroes. And we're just going to see it again. Miro cannot get away from the disruptor the kinetic fence is just doing so much work Ooh, nine class gets the tp out as the smoke breaks ramses just walks back in glimpse will get him a little bit of help as a nice kinetic fence but a great pushback from the coddle easiest to show up to this stuff that's where tundra will have to be a little careful oh they found Miro bottom ramses blank spear does get the pull back but with tops in here and a Sonic Wave, it is a very easy kill. They get Roche for a bet boom, a massive win for them. Is this gonna be a lot of space potentially for Psycho on this Ursa? The smokes come out, both teams are here, pure under this reactive barrier. Might just walk in, Thompson looking for an opening on the backside. They spear back the Beastmaster as he just gets deleted with a Sonic Wave, but so does Ramses. Ursa just goes right through him, but now Pure on this Bristleback. Will he find his target? Gonna start stacking the Quills up here on the GPK, but the Solar Blind doing some work, and the Ursa trying to chase him. The Reactive Barrier, the Blind out from the Tinker as well. Psycho's gonna get glimpsed away. A two for one, a big win for Bed Boom as they get two big kills. They should buy time for the BKB on the Ursa. <laughs> Bottom lane. Oh, he gets some GPK, finishes off, and now the arena again. Not really gonna get anything with this. Psycho's not done, dude. He can keep chasing. There's gonna be a kinetic fence though if he wants. Yeah, they got it. And Bristol's not that popular, so I haven't really seen it in action. It's not the time to fight. He's still got that amplified damage. That's a nice roar. The immediate jump onto Pure. He gets the kill. Nine class in trouble now. Ramsey's trying to get away. The Sonic Wave makes some distance, but you get the Tinker. GPK, Dragon Tail from the high ground. A double kill for him. Apparently, it doesn't matter. You just collapse on the Bristleback. Thompson's build is kind of sick. Octarine, Kaya, but he's very fragile if he gets found and they get the immediate roar on top of him. They're trying to save him. The Dragon Tail just locks him down and that's it. Ramsey's holding the arena thinking he might get out, but no. And this is the Beastmaster blink roar threat, dude. Every single time it's up, you can find the target. Ramsey's gets confident instead. Turns around with a nice BKB arena of his own. Do they finish off safe? They're trying with the quills. The four staffs actually push him back. And GPK just continuing to run these heroes down. Psyka up did. on the high ground, Psyka finds the Mars. Nullifier is a very good pickup. Not something you see often at this stage. But good recognition of what it is. Roar following up that dragon tail. Can win a single game. Has it does it have a zero percent win rate? 
Oh, Psycho, the first hit bash on the Ramses, dodges the spear as well. Oh man, that has gotta hurt. Uh, they've already managed to take the mid tier Bottom. They, they found Pure. They get the Abyssal off. He pops the Bloodstone, trying to heal through this, but Saika will just go to the front, beat him down. He's dead for 80 seconds without buyback. BKB on the Ursa, but I don't know if it's gonna matter. You've got to get the Spear back. The Sonic Wave goes at the exact same time, so instead GPK is safe. Ramses will be forced to drop the Arena. The Static Storm doing some work. The Shiva's out as well. That's a lot of damage, but the BKB finally comes out from GPK. Ramses is dead as well. Arena and Static Storm, but Big Sonic Wave. He managed to take down the Enchantress, but the Abyssal Blade is out. Tops it with a blink. But the Vessel and the Burn from the Dragon Knight will finish the job. Bottom tier 3 is already low. Maybe back out to be safe. Oh, get Roar. Roar. There's a buyback. Finds the Disruptor. He's going to buy back on here. Try and maybe finish off Miro. It is a lot of damage. He's going to get him. Okay. Yeah. Pure has the Aegis. Without, uh, he does have a buyback. Oh, they jump in. All fire out on top of him. Do you go in? White Mon's thinking about it. Ram sees the blink, the arena the spirit. There's the ult. It's holding a lot of damage into GPK. He's trying to get out, but he can't. And the Ursa, he can't cast the BKB until the last second, but he's dead already. Pure gonna lose the Aegis. Roar out from Miro, holding Thompson down, but the life steal isn't enough. It's not. He will fall. Now Pure with his second life coming back into this Toronto, Tokyo. <laughs> If it's the Enchantress so and save on the Coddle doing all of the work here. He is out of mana now. Nine class will root him up with the Warp Flare. Pure able to chase him down. Nullifier's out, but he has a BKB? You gotta get more for this Aegis play. And they though, they find GPK, the Dragonite. He comes in and pops his BKB. Big Will-O-Wisp out as well. Pure forced to face it, actually in his favor, but Hero. Gets him with the roar, the four staff. He's trying to get out, but can he? He will not. And Tundra are wiped on the low ground. That is the GG. We're going to a game three. We are jumping into game number three of this lower bracket elimination between Bet Boom and Tundra. We'll see how much they can shut down Morphling. Starting with a disrupt, first one would be a great way to slow him down. Heck yeah, that's really strong. Miro's got the Dust Devil going and to prevent Tundra from wanting to contest that one. Bottom lane though, White Mon in some trouble. Great dive in from Toronto, Tokyo. He should burn to the damage there and he will. He's then going to look for the Lotus himself. Ramses does actually get the kill with the Stomp. All right, nice to done. Oh, thinking about diving, this... using Shadow Point Vision to keep that's gonna... the Poison Touch. Yeah, I was like, that's gonna refresh. I think he's dead here. One auto attack uh, doesn't miss? get the uphill miss. He's super dead. He's trying to go for the Can deny, but <laughs> no. White Vaughn secures it just in case push with this catapult for sure. They are bringing in the Naga Siren as well. The TP coming through from Grimstroke. There's going to be a in snare into the Delug and with this GPK in a lot of trouble. They're trying to chase down Thompson, but he is pretty tanky. Disruption out from White Mon. Do they have the damage to finally bring him down? He needs a heal, but he's not going to get it. A great kill here from Bed Boom is now looking for nine class. The supports Doing the work, double kill for save. Yeah, here comes the real end. Yeah, goodbye GPK. Absolute no shot at getting away from this. Oh, disruption. They find GPK again. He's gonna go for the X into the boat. The torrent is there, but he's just making space for himself. Another real end, a dive in though from Toronto, Tokyo. The silence, they've got him. Huge pickoff and great coordination there from the side of Bet Boom as it's gonna turn into a second kill here onto the Shadow Demon. On the back side of the fight, GPK getting ran down. The whirlwind comes through. Pure wants to chase Toronto Tokyo. Great body blocks. And you end up getting a double kill here. I don't think Pure can finish off save. No mana for the power shot. He's gonna TP back. Alright. Link Epi stun, follow up boat. This is how they're getting the return kill so far. Anka again in trouble here. 
Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> there is there is no way he gets out of this one. He just TP'd in for this. He gets a lot of damage out onto 9 class. White Wand will be able to save him. UNVR is 3. He's get 100% of Wolverine's deposit. As Stampede comes out just to refresh the Shadow Poison, or the Poison Touch, and GPK is going to burn out behind the tower. Like, that's how you throw when you give them back a lot of space, so... They just think that's too close to tier 2 to risk it. Here we go, blink initiation. They're looking for their opening. They get on top of Thompson, but an immediate Song of the Siren from 9 class to reset. Can they actually find their targets? He needs to just get out. The egg comes off in the middle of four heroes from Tundra. They're trying to close the gap to finish it, and they do. Miro comes with the Burrow Strike, does connect onto Thompson. Does he have the damage? He does not, but Psycho will finish him off with a waveform. Double kill for him. Here's going to be X into the boat. They got another. Here, unable to really enter this fight as Bed Boog gets a perfect initiation with that blink from this Sand King and zero wisdom runes this game on Tundra. Despite having almost the whole map control. Well, that GPK blink reveal out from Ramses gets the stun. He is going to pop the blade mail, do what damage you can back the other way, but gets popped at the end. Here's the ink swell, Pearl Strike, Epi initiation, but a really nice disruption from White Mon. That's gonna put a stop to this. We'll see, he's got the wind run coming through, trying to dodge him out, looking for a shackle setup. Does just go for the Gleipnir. And Toronto, Tokyo. I doesn't have like... teleport. I think he'll yeah. die eventually, unless they don't know that he doesn't have teleport. Baiting, it's like, I'm totally teleporting away. Just give up. Nah, I think they saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They always stuck around. Okay, they get him. Last second. I don't think it's gonna be enough. No, not at all. He knows the fire spirit. Absolutely getting baited by the Phoenix as it's only a moment before that burrow epicenter. Song of the Siren tries to come through from nine class, but it's just way too late. The team is TPing in though, so I am curious. He's trying to just trap the Grimstroke, maybe. No, now he's just gonna try and run away. They do not want to help. Shadow Demon is definitely gonna sit back by the tower. So they give themselves two really good kills for this. And top lane, they're bringing in more. They're actually just gonna look for Thompson. His TP gets canceled. He's in a lot of trouble as Kunkka is right behind him. Here comes the X into the boat. Nero here as well. He just threw the whole lead away. It's now Bet Boom's game as they have found four massive kills around the map. And apparently a Crimson Guard as well is included in that. I mean, the supports on Bed Boom are higher level than Thompson's Dazzle. Like, that's that's not a good start. They actually find Thompson on the backside. He gets bursted from Saika. And just like that, forced to buy back into this game. They take down Save onto the backside. A nice dive in. The Song of the Siren comes out. They want to try and burst down the egg in time. They do. Thompson's in. They're going to buy back on the Grimstroke. Can you find the opening? Thompson, does he just die back immediately? He gets the Shallow Grave off at the last second, and it might be enough to keep him in this fight, but no, does end up popping to Saika. And this Morphling needs to find a way out of this fight now. GPK might not be as lucky, held up here by 9 class, and here are gonna pop the Blade Mail, trying to do what he can. Save on the backside, doing some, dude, he just healed so much with that stick, but a great disruption, canceling the TP out. Save is now dead, and GPK finally will be able to be picked up here by Tundra. It ends up being a four for, I think, like three with a dieback on your uh, Dazzle, but pays off at the end of the day. Oh, right near the mid lane. They do find GPK hesitant to go for the dive. Nine class and tanky. Yeah, he really is. I'm looking for the blink initiation. They get it, but a great disruption from White Mom. They saw this coming in a huge done. stomp on top of him to follow Saika needs to get out of here but Whirlwind just goes right through these heroes they're trying to run away from Pure. they're doing their best but Shackle is out they've got the Grimstroke he's dead now looking for Toronto Tokyo the song of the siren do they find anyone on the high ground oh boy do they everyone that is a huge win as the rum buff expires ultra kill for Pure. the man deserves it give him the rampage no nine glass takes it instead Gotta yeah. earn the rampage, pure. 
so they don't initiate there, they back off. You know the, the rum buff would have saved him anyways. Great double stun as well. Yeah. She just barely missed GPK here. Do they know? Smoke pops. GPK trying to get the safety. The stampede comes through, but they get him on the real end. And with that, Demonic Purge is out. Ramsey's the blink stun. I don't think you're making it out of this one. GPK going down on the Kunkka. Oh, he's not a real he walks hero. in. He just walks in on the real Nagasar and breaks it. They actually have a high ground ward. Orchid is out from nine class, but they're looking for an opening here on the backside. Will he find it? He goes in quite near onto two. The supports are there. The stomp comes through. They get to onto two. No, he gets the egg off in time. And Saika actually is trying to lay into him. The song of the siren is out, but the Kunkka actually surviving because of this. The reset though from the song, they're all topped off. Thompson's BKB expires silence now onto the more flame. They're gonna buy it back on GPK. Toronto, Tokyo on the run, save as well, trying to get out, but you can't escape on the morph. The supports will leave him to die. A very weird fight, but it still pays off for Tundra. I guess Betboom knows that Tundra's also smoked, but you have no idea where. You have a rough idea of where the illusion came from. Like, yeah, I'll just send it wherever I think the enemies are. And if I find something, great. If I don't find anything, all that's information too. They almost got baited by the Morphling illusion, but they will find the real one there. This They're wrap coming around. From the, dude, this is such a good wrap around. If they find Saika in the trees, this game could be over. Ramsey is looking for the blink initiation. Who do they find? It is going to be the morph. Can they burst him in time? Nullfire is out. He gets the BKB. Whirlwind coming through, but a nice boat smash to get on top of him. Pierce going to be forced to pop the BKB, but Saika, you're dying. The Song of the Siren again coming out at a little bit of a weird moment, but the follow-up. It's going to stomp, connect onto them. No, it gets silent. GPK's on top of them, but they don't have the damage to kill anybody on Tundra. The constant heals and reset are too much, and the GG comes out. That boom, knocked out of the tournament by Tundra.